In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add more pages inside our website, because as you may have noticed so far, we've been using our front page in order to learn HTML and CSS. And when you typically look at a website online, we have more than just one page, so I thought it would be a good idea to learn how to add more pages this early on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my root folder. And inside my root folder, you guys can see that we have a file called index.html and a file called style.css. Now, when it comes to including files inside your root folder, you know, inside the actual project folder, your front page has to be called index.something, which we talked about in one of the first episodes in this course here. And the reason for that is that when we do actually need to upload the website online, we need to upload the website to a server, and the server always looks for a file called index.something, because it's going to look at this file as the front page of your website. However, when it comes to subpages inside your website, we can call these whatever you like. Of course, there should be some guidelines to what you should actually be using inside the page name, such as if I were to go inside my text editor here and create a new page and save it inside my root folder, I probably shouldn't be using any capitalized letters. Also, I should not be using any sort of weird symbols or anything that might mess up the file name. So it's a good idea to stick with non-capitalized letters and something simple that indicates what the file is actually used for, such as if we were to create a contact page, I would call it contact.html, for example, and then I can say save, and now you guys can see we have a contact page. Now, when we want to set up this new page, we need to actually create some content inside of it, just like we did inside the front page. So I'm going to copy what we have inside the front page so far, and just paste it inside our contact document. Now, the important thing here is, like inside the front page, we need to have certain tags that has to be inside any kind of new document. And if you're in doubt about which tags we need to have inside this document when we create a new document, go ahead and look at the episode at the beginning of this course where we talk about what you need to have inside a page when you create it for the first time. So I just covered in the content from my front page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change just a few things because inside my front page I had a H1 tag that said, welcome to my portfolio. So I'm going to pretend for a second that this is a portfolio website. And inside the page, I also have a paragraph that says, welcome to my personal portfolio. Feel free to look around the website. So inside the contact page, we can then change the text. So it says contact page or something a bit more creative than this. And then go down to the paragraph tag. And again, if the text goes outside your screen, go up to view, click toggle soft wrap, and you guys can see, we can then see all the text inside the actual screen here. Now I'm going to change the text here. So it says name, colon, Daniel, Nielsen. I'm going to copy the line of code, paste it underneath it, and include something like, I don't know, telephone number or email. We can say email could be use at mmtoots.net if I wanted to. And we can keep adding details if we wanted to. But again, this is just to demonstrate that, that we have a page with different content. And if we were to actually access this inside the browser, we can then see another page. So if we were to go back inside the website, you guys can see that this is the text out of my front page. If we were to refresh just to reset everything, it still looks the same because we didn't change anything inside the front page. But if you take a look at the URL up here in the top, you guys can see that we have our root folder and inside our root folder, the current document that we're viewing is the one called index.html. If we were to change this to contact.html, you guys can see we now have a new page with different content inside of it. So what we just did here is we went ahead and created a new page, but we haven't created a link for it yet, which is something that we're going to look into in the next episode. So we can actually access this page without having to you know, go up inside the URL and type something different than what we just had here. So I can actually go back to the index page by writing index.html. And as you guys can see, we now have the front page again. So what I plan to do in this course here is in some episodes from now, I would like to start making a portfolio website together with you guys with the skills that we learned in these lessons here. So we're going to take everything that we learned and then slowly we're going to build up something that actually looks like a real website because right now, as you guys can see, this is just basic text inside, you know, a white background. It's not really a website. So we're going to go ahead and build up a portfolio from scratch using the skills that we learned in these lessons. And in the next episode, like I said, we're going to start by learning how to create links inside the website. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.